ask and you shall receive. This is video number two and day number four with the Extreme Bull K6. If you guys didn't watch the last one, you're dumb, first of all. Second of all, this is 134 volts, dual motor, 7,000 combined watts of electricity on this thing. And uh, overall, freaking impressive little ride. So this is definitely gonna be the last video on the K6. I actually have somebody, a local YouTuber, who's gonna continue the series on this. He's gonna buy it from me today. Today we have a couple things to do. First of all, I forgot to unbox that unicycle I mentioned last video, so we'll do that first. Right after that, we're gonna take the K6 out for some drag races. Unfortunately, I say this with a very heavy heart, the Lamborghini blew its clutch out yesterday or at least that's what I suspect. I was backing out of a parking spot and I was like, Shh, and I pushed the gas. <laughs> I heard a little bit of a, what I remember to be a grinding sound, very slight grinding sound, white wispy smoke started coming out of the engine bay. Um, <laughs> so it's right behind me, got towed into the driveway last night. Right before I shoot this video doing drag races and the one car I freaking wanted to use today, <sighs> it's the one car that blows its clutch out the one time it ever has. Okay, so we have no Lamborghini to drag race against it today, which was the freaking point of this whole video. That's, that's life, I guess. Anyway, drag races, and then we're gonna try to unlock the K6 to get that 75 mile per hour top speed that they say is possible. And they do have a video tutorial how to do it. So we're gonna just try our hand at unlocking this thing, getting max performance out of it. That's all in today's video. First up, let's get this electric unicycle out of the box and just show you guys a couple shots of it, just to, you know, just to see how it looks. First look, here it is. Stickers and some paperwork. Wow, it's definitely pretty small. Yeah, and then this is the M10 4S unicycle here. Really cool looking little unit. My dad's gonna love it. So anyway, there you guys have it. This is what was in the little unicycle box that I got from Alien Rides as well. I just noticed the unicycle is freaking 84 volts. What the freak for that little thing? So anyway, in the name of science, let's get to the drag races, see if the K6 is actually as fast as it feels. I still need to look at it to see if it's actually the clutch or not. I have no idea. From what I remember, and I was not expecting the sound at the time to happen when I was in reverse, I was looking behind me to make sure I wasn't hitting anybody. And then I heard what I remember to be like a grinding noise. And then immediately I remember white wispy smoke coming out from this front area up over here. But when I noticed that I was already halfway out of my spot, and so I put it back in first and pulled forward just like normal. So now it's hard for me to believe that it actually was the clutch, you know, because it would have made more grinding sounds if I was putting it back into first and moving forward with it. But anyway, until I diagnose what's actually wrong with this thing, if there is anything wrong, I have no idea, really. I just didn't want to risk it last night, so we towed it home. But until I diagnose it, we're not going to be driving this thing. The next best option is the Tesla, and this one probably is going to be the fastest off the line no matter what anyway. And I think it has the best chance of beating the uh, K6 if any car does. The S-Class has a better 0-60 time than the Tesla Model 3, but off the line, Tesla would probably still beat it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Tesla will almost beat anything off the line, and this was just as fast as it. I was just like the whole way down the street. I was just like the front wheel was all loose. Yeah, it was crazy. All right, we're good. Was that pretty much full throttle that you were giving it? it down before. Ding. All right, being a one man jam, I don't have people to actually race me on stuff. But what I can do with some unique camera angles is actually just side by side and just play them both in real time. Just line them all up right here. And we can and we could do it that way. So first up, let's get this thing timed and then we'll race it with whatever we want to. Get these tires warmed up. Ah! <laughs> and here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! Sheesh. Woo! Man, once you get traction, yeah, it just it just freaking pulls you, man. I wonder if I could actually get faster without going full throttle. Like actually just keeping traction as best I can. Let's try it again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sheesh. 
I still just can't believe this almost got the Tesla. All right, so that's it for this thing. Let's get some other things in race. I forgot the freaking tire on this thing blew the whole valve out of it. No way we're racing that. Freaking Lambo's down, freaking R6 is down. The two things that I wanted to race it against are both down right now. I guess we'll just head it off with the S-Class. Technically, the S-Class is faster than the Tesla to 60, probably not off the line. So the Tesla probably was the fastest thing we have today that we can race against it. Not happy, not happy. Obviously, I'm very impressed with the performance of this thing. Let's go ahead and try to unlock this, get that 75 miles per hour if possible. I know Alien Rides posted a how to unlock video on their website for this thing. So let's pull that up and see if we can't work some magic. So here's their website listing. If you wanna pause it and look at the specs on this thing, this is what they have. But right below that, they have a instructions and unlock video here. So let's click that. Download the Begode app and then we'll work some magic. Let's do it. Android does not like that it's from a third party developer and I had to install it with the APK file. I found the Begoat app on iOS. All right, connection successful. Right arrow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In case you missed it, how to unlock it is to hold down this right arrow. As you're holding it down, you press the horn button six times or, you know, six, seven times really fast. I did hear a longer beep after the sixth time I had touched the horn button. We just may be unlocked right now. We'll have to actually test it though. So when you do the button press and the horn thing, it did that long beep. I cycled it to save the settings and then it wouldn't throttle at all. And then I did it again. So there must be like different settings as far as like this power, like the power settings we're doing here. So I have no idea what setting it's actually on right now. It kind of feels a little bit more twitchy than usual in this setting. So maybe we're unlocked right now, but I'm about to find out. <laughs> I have no idea. It definitely feels a little jumpier. Okay. I'm probably not a shining example of, you know, wearing gear while you ride, but man, it is so hot out here today. It's not even worth, like if I crash, I crash. I might as well just get a 060 right here. Unfortunately, frick, I can't even see the display. Shoot, man, this is what I was gonna go off of. No better time than right now to do a top speed. See if this is any different than it was. I'm not even gonna reset anything. We got a max speed of 40.6 from last time. So not even gonna worry about that. Yeah, we're tracking, so let's do it. It's freaking, oh shh, freaking seriously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, I'm wasn't able to sustain it super long time but at least a at least long enough to give us an idea of top speed 60 miles per hour so we didn't unlock anything i don't think let's uh get it back home i'll do the little button press one more time and then we'll do it again it is freaking hot today wow oh man least if nothing else this thing off roads real good <laughs> Don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but this thing's pretty fast. Okay, let's hope this is the final time that I have to pull over and the GoPro overheats. It's at 59.6 right now, so if we don't beat that, then I don't know how to unlock this thing. <laughs> I did all the things that they said to do in the instructions how to unlock this thing, so we'll, we'll see. All right, let's freaking turn and burn. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, feels like 60 to me. But I will get off to the side of the road and see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shh. Somebody, did you just yell at me? Somebody just yelled at me. Okay, hopefully the GoPro didn't die again, man, and this is all pointless. Yeah, 59.6. So I guess I don't know how to unlimit this thing. 
I could tell it, like it has the power to do so. I just did the instructions they told me to do and it did not work. Guess we're just stuck at 60 miles per hour, but I could tell it could go faster. And 134 volts, it should go faster. Like you can feel it just freaking fly up to 60 and then just stays there. While it has the potential to do 75, I'm sure it does. I just don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call it here for this vehicle. And I'm gonna go give it to a guy whose YouTube channel is Mr. Central Rides. He's gonna go a little bit more crazy on it than me probably. But uh, yeah, he should, he should love this thing. So I'm gonna call it here and that's all I needed this to do. You know, we tested all the specs on it. It's all we wanted to do. All right, here we go, last punch. <laughs> Let's go. All right, y'all, that is a wrap for the Extreme Bowl K6. Definitely the top of the list for adrenaline products in my book. Thing is freaking crazy, and there's nothing bad I really have to say about it. It's uh, software and stuff, obviously, is not as refined as some other, like e-bikes and stuff, but this thing, this thing is definitely not software focused. It's not like they cared if you really saw how fast you were going. <laughs> it's just a vehicle you buy for $4,700. Obviously, there's cheaper, like commuting options like cheap e-bikes out there this is this is definitely not for the purpose of commuting short distances to get from point a to point b this is like race focused you know like just freaking as as much power as you can possibly put down to the wheels that's what this does and probably the most thrilling experience i've ever had and that's also including sport bikes and you know actual motorcycles and stuff it's just it's just a, a whole different ball game just with that much pure electrical power with such a small package such a lightweight vehicle and and you know you're the biggest thing on the freaking whole vehicle it's like a whole new experience i'm sure you've never experienced unless you've actually ridden something like this but anyway we say our goodbyes to the k6 we're on to much cooler projects we got coming up this i didn't do as a paid video all the small e-bike videos i do typically are like paid videos and they're paying the bills you know, in, uh, in my busy season outside of YouTube. But I have a lot of actually cool things coming up now. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on welding the go-kart. The rest of the welding needs to be done. Lori Kurt has just been too busy to be over here and finish the project up. So I'm gonna jump on that. And once that's done, at least that's one less thing he has to do. Then I can get on painting that. He can come over, we can um, put all the components back in it. And then that thing is ready to rip and we control K1 speed to our heart's content. <laughs> and then we jump onto a project that is extremely rare to find, but it randomly popped up in my area or pretty close to me. And so we went ahead and bought it. Let's just say it's a second Lamborghini, but it's not actually a Lamborghini, but it's gonna be a very fun project. It's an unfinished project somebody just sold off because they were tired of working on it. Too much money into it. So I was the schmuck that bought it from him. And I'm gonna try to finish it up myself. And then off camera, I'll probably be sending this little baby off to the doctor get it all patched up and back in the driveway if it is a clutch issue we're definitely gonna upgrade to a carbon clutch that uh that has higher performance and lasts more than twice as long than the oem clutch does and then tesla i still don't know what i'm gonna do with it i like the tesla Tesla is really cool and whatnot, but like I got a freaking S-Class right here. I don't know if I need a Tesla. So we may be selling that, we may not be. I feel like the S-Class is gonna be one that sticks around for a long time. And then next up, I'm gonna be doing a video on the Async A1 Pro Retro E-Bike. Then we got another strange electric vehicle here. Should be a good time. So anyway, that's what's coming up on the channel. Next, I'm almost all caught up outside of YouTube. So I'm gonna be pumping these videos out so much faster actually having some fun so so hopefully this was a fun second installment on the k6 and that you guys are enjoying the videos still and like i don't want to ask you guys to do it but if you could smash that like button that would be wonderful that would help a brother out that being said i'll catch you guys next time in the next video it's like it can't be anything serious very true he's got stabbed i got it i got it per hour you hit the full throttle you'll see what did i get myself into <laughs>